Hi guys, thank you so much for coming to The Essence TV. Yes, we have loads of beautiful films, TV series, shows planned for you. But please, I need you to do me a favor. Please subscribe. Once you watch it, please share it, like it and subscribe. Thank you. What is wrong with you today? I've noticed you've not been yourself. Talk to me. Tell me. I want a child. Huh? I want a child. At least if I can't carry one myself, I can adopt. I want a child. Adoption? In as much as it's not a bad idea, it is not for you. What do you mean it's not for me? What do you mean it's not for me? Huh? I have waited and waited all these years. What is wrong in looking after one of the children, you know, the needy children? At least if I can carry one, I can have that. Debbie, you need to trust me when I say it is not for you. Look, read this. Read this. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bone. Then he caused me to pass by them all around and behold there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? So I answered, O Lord, you know. Again he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God. These bones, surely I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. I will put sinews on you and bring flesh upon you, cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied. What does this mean? Debbie, do you believe? that your dry bones can live again? My dry bones? <laughs> I don't think so. Hmm. I think by now, they must have been completely dried up. If I, by now they are decomposing, hmm. eh? it, cannot, it cannot live again. But, but come to think of it, what is bad with me looking after some children that are needy? And if again my dry bones comes to life, then it will be a bonus.
but I want this child to know it. At least you didn't say anything. for yourself now, eh? What's this? Hmm? What's this? Are you already engaging an adoption agency? I mean, why this new obsession, Debbie? Eh? Why now? Why now? I am 50 for crying out loud. And you cannot pretend that our recklessness in the university days does not have anything to do with this childlessness. So you want me to wait till I'm 80? No, Debbie, look, that's... I, I... That's your phone ring here. You're not going to pick it. No, this is not the time. Look. Debbie, do you, do you blame me for the abortions? Why would I blame you? I mean, we made the decisions together. I don't blame you. Look, I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand, okay? It's it's like you are getting you're getting desperate again about this issue. And, 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 I, I always feel that I am always inadequate. What do you mean? Honey, you are more than enough for me. Honestly, you have surpassed all my expectations as a husband. Yes. I mean, you paid for all the high VFs and you even subjected yourself to treatments and tests. And it's been confirmed that I'm the one with the problem. Oh, you know, I just, I just wish I never brought this on us. Because I made those, those suggestions. I wish I knew God then when we were you. I, I wish I was a foolish. I wish I, w I wish I had a relationship with him because we wouldn't have done this. I just look, Debbie. You you know I love you, okay? But I I, I am not prepared to father a child that doesn't conform us. I can't. I can't. Look at me. Look at me. Look, please. Just let me have this one, please. Please. We have tried. We have tried. Just let me have this one, please. Please, 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 please. Please let me have this one, please. Please. 
Okay. I, I can have this. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> thank you, okay. thank you, thank you. <sighs> thank you. So, oh God. So what do we have to do? Because I don't understand about our adoption. I, I mean, have, have you found one? Because you've already found one? That's quick. And you remember my cousin Damola that had a child and she, you know, that passed away during yeah, childhood. Yeah, Damola, yeah, yeah. Our daughter is three years old now, so I can have her and at least we know where she's from. Okay. Well, that makes sense. It makes sense. Let's do it. Hmm? Thank Let's you. Do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You will regret this. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? You've not really been yourself today. Uh, is there uh, trouble on the home front? No. It's my wife. Go. She's planning to adopt a child, uh, but uh, you know, I'm not really keen on it. Oh. Why, have you guys not got children of your own? No, no. We've been trying for many years, but um, we can't. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear but that. It's okay. It's such is life. Oh, no. Poor pity. Well, you know, uh, we have a short time in the family. I'm here if you need me. Are you serious? Yeah, of course. I'm really serious. I mean, well, we don't have to divorce your wife or anything. I mean, all you have to do is give me the necessary support and do what's right for your child. No. No, thanks. Thanks, Beauty. Um, thank you. Thank you. Come on, let's go to the meeting. Think about it. So, you know what? I think I'm going to take the stairs. Just use a bit of weight, yeah? I'll see you at the meeting, okay? Good to see you. I'm very well, I'm very well. That's good. Cool. family? Yeah, fine. Now, so, you know, Louis, um, I actually, I contacted the adoption agency and they gave me an appointment for the next Tuesday. Yeah. So I'm just wondering, maybe you will have uh, one advice or the other to give me, mm. considering that the child is coming from Nigeria. Okay. Debbie, you want to speak I will advise you to adopt a child here in the UK. The process of adopting the child from outside can be sometimes doubting and it involves a lot of money. So you need to be very, very sure you can afford it before you go into this process. You know, this child is my niece. Oh, really? Yeah, she's my cousin's oh. daughter. Let me show you a picture. Please, yeah. Oh, really? Isn't she cute? Oh, she's a little cute princess. <laughs> Honestly, I can't wait to have Beautiful. her. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I know, but the process don't really encourage adoption from outside, given the opportunity for other children from UK, from here. Um, like, how much do you think it will be? Because I've got some money saved up. It depends on some factors. It can be between 20. To thirty thousand pounds. Oh my God, thirty thousand. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I'll speak with my husband, and then you know, um, we can raise a loan. Okay. Yes, we can okay. raise a loan. So I will. Um, ah, thirty thousand. Yeah, no oh. problem. No problem. Just let me know when you are ready. And I will give you directions. Okay. But in the meantime, please go to the website and visit the website for some more information. And I am phone call away. Okay, if you ever need to talk with me. Yeah, thank you so much, Louis. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. So um, I'll see you in church on Sunday. Oh no 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 no! Sunday I'm going for the conference with the group, uh, youth group. 
Oh, yeah, and this weekend. Is this weekend? Yes, yes. I forgot. Yes, I fly. It, it does, it does. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you when you get back. I will Say hello to your husband. Thank yeah? you so much, darling. Enjoy the gym. Thank you. <laughs> see you. Bye. Good Lord. What is going on with me? Ah, 20,000 pounds. Where am I going to get that kind of money from? Ah, she even said it might be up to 30. 30,000. So I want to buy a child for 30,000. I can't blame you, Lord. I can't blame you. You gave me children. And I killed them with my own hands. Ah. Have mercy on me, Lord. Please have mercy, Lord. You didn't tell me how you got on with Louise. Oh, <laughs> she said it's not a bad idea, mm -hmm. but um, it's going to involve some spending. Of course now. You have to pay for visa fees and um, I'm sure the other costs that we have to pick up as well, so. <laughs> it's a lot more than that. She said it might be up to... 20 to 30,000. 30,000? 30, 30,000 pounds? Why are we going to raise that amount of money? Eh? And, and look, don't tell me to borrow for that, okay? Because I'm not going to. Honestly, I don't know myself. I'm really confused. Look, why, why don't we adopt from the UK? It will be less expensive. Debbie, look, I get it, right? I know that you, you want to know the person that we're adopting, but where are we going to raise £30,000 from, eh? Only, don't worry, God will do it. God will. <laughs> Do it. God will do it if it's His will. You didn't even tell me you were coming. Yeah. Just come and thank you, thank you. That's not your idea. I have a lovely surprise on your face. Oh, who are you? Oh, my God. Ah. Put the bag there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Cool. Hey, hey. You guys are funny. You didn't tell me anything. If I spoke with Yemi a few days ago, she said nothing. Actually. I told her not to tell you. Ah. Remember, all of us will be coming together as a family during the summer holiday. So you get to see all of us. Yeah, no, that I can. Well, it's good to see you anyway. Thank you. You're looking good as usual. <sighs> Kole. You know this uh, problem with adoption. Right. So I was telling you on the phone. It's getting difficult by the day. In fact, I cannot raise the money. And right now, I am really sinking into depression. Oh, Anthony, please, oh, do not sink into depression. But your husband is not complaining. Why are you worked up? 
complaining. That exactly is the problem. He is not complaining. Eh? I know that Andy is cheating on me. In fact, I know he has a child. I, I, I don't know. I think he has a child somewhere out there. Why should you think like that? What did you see? Well, I really didn't see anything. Well, I can feel it. Eh? It's the way he looks at me. It just makes me to know that something is wrong. There is something fishy somewhere. Auntie, hmm. sorry to ask you. Are you guys still intimate? <sighs> Not really. Although he has asked me a few times, but I just don't think it's genuine. Exactly. That is it, Antony. You are the one making all this thing up in your mind. All you need to do is to just calm down. Do not allow the devil to get into your lives. Moreover, have you actually put it to God in prayers? And I mean real prayers. I have prayed and I am praying. I'm praying now. Right. Okay. We will still pray and I will pray with you and God will answer us. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Queen. Thank you very much. So, how is the church of God? And how is everyone doing? Well, the Lord, the Lord is the king over his church. All is well. Glory to God. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too. What do you want to eat? Anything and everything. I'm at home so I can eat anything. Let me show not? you some nice things. Yes. <laughs> um, Have you I heard of... Auntie. Ah, see, this is it. Have you right. heard of cabbage ever? Yeah. This is made with cabbage. Right. And it will give you real eba. Wow. And it's not that because cabbage. 100%. And, eh? and this one is abmala. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's great to pass aubergine. And it is 100% aubergine. This is what I want. This is the one you want. Now, do you want a fork with it or you want beggary? With beggary, please. Thank you. In few minutes. Oh, thank you. Hello, Auntie Debbie. Ah, hello, Jala, baby. How are you? Eh, what's going on? Just to let you know that Damola's brother-in-law is, is about to adopt Junior so. Damola's brother-in-law? Eh, eh. That's why I said I should quickly let no, you know. Well, I'm still looking for money. Honestly, I am still... You, you just don't worry. Eh? By the grace of God, I am doing everything I can to raise it. Eh? Eh, That's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. We might not even need up to the, you know, the 30,000 they talked about. Because the process they've given me the breakdown. Eh, all right, darling. I'm on it. I'm on it. Eh? All right, there. Like by now, eh, my pay. Omo Omo Mashi. Don't worry. All right, my dear. All right, she. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. How was work today? Mm, yeah, yeah, no, it was good. And yours? I was good. Mm. Mm. So, were you like in a city centre this afternoon? Yes, I was. What, did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Okay. Yeah. It was the husband of the woman you were holding her hands. 
husband of the woman I was holding the hands. Uh -huh. This beauty, we work together. <laughs> Actually, I didn't know she was married. How, how did I get this to your number? And what is your hand doing on her backside? Oh, Debbie, looks can be deceptive. Deceptive. And, and, and I, to be honest, I don't know how my hand got there. And if you look at it, it's not an affectionate touch. Come on. If you look at it, it's not an affectionate touch anyway. Uh-huh. Andy, I have got too much on my mind right now. I can't have you adding your silliness to it. Please! Debbie, you think I could cheat on you, do you? I don't know! Are you not human? Ah, come on, Debbie. Just... Look, just... Forget it. Honestly, you've been petty, you've been childish. Just okay? be, be careful! Be, look, good Andy! Be careful. Okay, I have heard. Thank you. Be careful. Okay, I have heard. Thank you. My husband is cheating on me. Andrew is cheating on me. And Timmy, I have told you. Why we should have dropped this at this time? Drop it. He's a man of God. Another in the church for that matter. Aww. What makes you think this way? What makes me think this way? I'll show you. What makes me think about this? Yes. Look at it. Well, it may not be what it looks like. Have you asked him? I've asked him and he denied it. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. There must be a mix-up somewhere. Mix-up? Ow! Oh. Ow! Oh. This is photograph, Abi? Yes. Oh, you want to tell me this is Photoshop? Hmm. What is his aunt doing on her backside? Eh? What is his aunt doing on her backside? Well, I will still ask him again. It, it is not God's way for us to jump into conclusion based on this singular action we are seeing here. <laughs> Only, I am hardly ever wrong about these things. Do you want me to ask him man to man? I don't know. Ask him if you like. I just want to concentrate on having a child. He can move out of the house if he likes. I will speak with him. And I will get to the bottom of this. And we'll continue to pray about this. <laughs> pray. <laughs> Do you think God doesn't ask our prayers anymore? Okay. I think we are being punished for our past mistakes. If not, that's the sign I can see here. If not, why am I still childish? God forgives and restores. That is what my scripture tells me. Indeed, there may be scars, but Antimi, as people of faith, we have to hold on to God's continued mercies all the time. Hmm. Hmm. Tell me about it. You know, this adoption process, it has become more difficult by the day. Uh, Damola's uh, brother-in-law, the one in America, yes. mm -hmm. he also wants to ad adopt your niece. Really? Mm. And this is me here struggling to raise the money. Mm. Ah. I honestly, I wish I could help with this money. I know, don't worry about it. I understand. I had, before I forget, I had a dream. And in the dream I saw you carrying a beautiful baby girl. I believe God will do it. If he has proposed it in your heart, he is able to accomplish what he has proposed in your heart. Hmm. You know what? I just want somebody to give me the money. Then I will know that it is God that has 
done it. I know he will do it. I believe God will do it. If he has put it in your heart, then he's able to accomplish what he has put into your heart. How he's going to do it might not be the way we are thinking, but I believe God will do it. <sighs> Right. So, bros, like I've been saying earlier, marriage is what it is. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that comes up in it. We as men, all we need to do is to be able to manage how we um, emotionally detach ourselves from whatever things that comes up, especially with the opposite sex. You know what I mean? It's um, we, we hear lots of stories surrounding people not being able to detach himself in such a way that it now affects the family front. Well, we are all men, but we need to also understand that our own front is the most important thing and separate ourselves from any opposite sex that we come ar across in any phase of our lives. In all of this, mm -hmm. I want you to remember the story of Esau in the Bible. Esau actually sold his bad try just for a piece of meal. I want us to be conscious of that. I, wait, hold on. Are you, are you now equating me to Esau? I mean, what type of rubbish is this? And listen, just because you're a pastor in your church doesn't mean you will come to my home and insult me? What, what, what rubbish, man? I mean, what, what type of rubbish is this? What's wrong with you? Eh? Listen, just because you're a pastor, Pune, doesn't mean that you can come to my house and you start telling me rubbish. What's all this? I'm please, sorry. please, please, I don't want to hear anything. Save it for yourself, man. What's all this? And you? How can you share our personal stuff about our marriage with your brother? Eh? How the rubbish. Honey, are you sleeping? No? Huh? Honestly, I'm sorry. I just want to say I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I mean, I I, I shouldn't have uh, told Koli anything about her, you know. But I just thought because um, you guys are close, mm. and again, he's, he's a pastor. I know, yeah. but you know, we always say we won't tell anything in regarding our marriage. It's our private matter. You know, I know he's your brother, and I know we're close, but that doesn't mean. You have to share things. It's okay. And I was rude the way I spoke to him as well. I, I didn't feel good about it at all. So I will go and apologize to him tomorrow before he goes. But um, it's okay. Don't worry. It's all right. Thank I'm you. sorry as well. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Ah, that's okay. Ah, good morning, bro. Good morning. Bro, thank you. Good. Uh, that's okay. Um, I just want to apologize for my behavior yesterday. Okay, I spoke harshly, um, and I'm really, really sorry. Mm. And I totally understand what you're trying to say. I um, totally get it. Um, and I'm praying that I will not be uh, that man Esau that um, sold his birthright, and um, he was crying out for it after he sold it. You know, um, really, really appreciate everything, and um, thank you very much. Eh? And I'm sorry. Yeah. And that's fine. Um, I also apologize to you if I've come across you in your personal space. No. Um, like you know, I trust you and I believe God's grace and nothing upon your life. Amen. Like, be able to uphold your family. Amen. And amen. And amen. Right, you know, amen. Right. amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Andy, just the person. I was looking for you. I just wondered, can I get a lift? I left my car today. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh, let's go. How's your day? How's your day? How's your day?
I just wanted to say thank you. Simply saying it is good enough for me, okay? Oh well. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the ride. You're welcome. I'm just wondering, um, you know, if you can have some money towards this adoption. Yeah. You don't even seem concerned at all that we get this girl. Effie, how can you say that? Eh? How can you say that? <sighs> my savings is nothing. I even tried to get loan from the bank. They declined my application. Look. We both agreed when we were changing our mortgage provider. That we will put more money in. So our money is tied down. And, and the only alternative we have is, do, is investment. And you know that it's going to take at least six months for it to come to terms. So at the moment, we, I we, want this girl. I want this girl. Debbie, this has become an obsession. You know, since this adoption... Eh? You, everything about this adoption has just consumed you. What's wrong? Ah! I don't understand. Okay, okay. Um, at least maybe something like 5,000. Can you not get anything like that? Look, I'll try, okay? Alright? But you just have to wait. Because at the moment, there isn't much. We, all our money is tied down. Okay? Uh Please come to my office. Thank you. Oh, Sharon. Do you know what? I have been looking at these numbers. They know how do you know? I mean, the payments. In fact, no invoices, no receipts, and it's added up to 97,000. I don't understand. I'm not clear about this. What's going on? Or do you think the documents are somewhere that I don't know? I'm surprised they're not in there, to be honest. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll have another look at it. Um, I'll talk to the accountant. You talk to the... Do you know... Let me just call George. I'll call George so that I can actually... No, 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 no it doesn't matter. Don't, don't call George. No, well, um... George, um... I'll sort it out and get back to you. Give it till the end of business today. And uh, I'll report back. No need to involve the uh, financial director on such are a small you, issue. Are you sure about oh, that? It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Because this is a lot of money. I know. I'm just worried. Don't worry. I'll sort it. Okay. Okay, if you say that. All right, Sean. Thank you. No, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want anything with this. You will regret it. No, I don't want it. I don't want that. Look, oh, I know it's a surprise. Sleep on it. If you still don't want it, bring it back Monday morning. But you can't say anything. Many people have died who said things they shouldn't. So is, is that a threat or something? Oh, come, come on, Debbie. It's just a statement of fact. Why would I threaten you? Oh my god. Sean!
this you, Lord? Is this you at work? 30,000. <sighs> eh? Just what I needed. 30,000. Ah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <sighs> Foolish girl! Oh, gee. It is only you she listens to. You better speak sense into her head. My own daughter was caught making out with a boy in a youth event. Do you want to disgrace me? After all I've done for you when your father left us. Eh? You want to now get pregnant, isn't it? And be carrying around a bastard child and be collecting dough. Eh? What is going on? Eh? Let's hear it from her. Becky, what happened? What have you got to say for yourself? I shall go! Ah, ah. Muji, I don't like that. Eh? Calm down. What happened? Auntie, he's my friend. We're just playing. And it's not as if we're having sex or something. Eh? eh? With eh? his tongue down your throat. Oh, so we have to wait till you're having sex? Ah! With his, with his tongue down your throat. What else remains until we catch you naked? You see? Would you just give us a space? Hmm? Come, come. On. Eh? Come. On. Hmm? Becky, what do you think you are doing? Making out with a boy at this stage of your life? Huh? Auntie, he's my boyfriend. And I love him. <laughs> boyfriend? And you love him? Oh, do you think to love someone is just to hold hands with them, kissing them, you know, maybe making love and having sex and all this kind of thing? Do you think that is what love is? Yes, and then you get married. Ah, my dear, to love somebody is a lot more than that. Eh? To love somebody is a commitment. You have to be ready to make a commitment with somebody, regardless of whatever situation life may bring. And as I am looking at you, I don't think you are prepared for that because God prepares you for that time. Huh? Becky, you have the whole of your life ahead of you. And you need to allow God to prepare you into the woman that he plans for you to be. Huh? There is a purpose attached to your name. If I ask you now, do you know your purpose in life? Do you know your purpose in life? Yes. I'm Becky. And my purpose is... I don't know. You don't know? And Becky, you are much more than your name. When God made you, he made you for a purpose. You need to do what? Stay with God. Walk with God, love God, until he reveals that purpose unto you. Then you walk in that purpose. When you walk in that purpose, then God will connect you to that man he had prepared for you. 
and the two of you coming together, then you fulfill the plans of God. If you don't walk in your purpose, you can get lost. You can lose your identity in the process. Okay. Yes. Becky. Secondly, making out with a man who is not your husband, my dear, is a sin. You have made God really unhappy. I'm sorry. And you have made your mother unhappy. I'm sorry. I didn't and scared. See the way she was. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. God knows everything. And I know he will forgive you. If you ask him. And so will your mom. You need to be genuine. Really let this sorry not just be from your lips, let it come from your heart. Tell God you are sorry. And don't do it again. God is merciful, He will forgive you. Becky, He will forgive you. Tell me to pray with you. Father, we bless you. Thank you for your daughter. Thank you because she has realized her mistake. I pray, Lord, you will teach her. Guide her, oh God, in the right way to go. Holy Spirit, help her in her purpose in life. Help her to love and cherish you. Blessed is your name, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Auntie. Look. You know what? Because everyone is doing it, doesn't mean you should do it. You know why? Because you are a child of God. You are special. You are precious to the Lord. You can't go about misusing yourself. You are a princess. So who is this boy, if I may ask? I don't want to tell you, Auntie. I don't want you to tell his parents. Okay. <laughs> I won't tell his parents. I just want to know. Who is it? It's Daniel. Mr. Chuku's son. Hmm. Chuku's son. Do you know what? If it is the will of God, at the right time, the two of you will come together. It's not right now. Definitely, this is not the time. Huh? At God's appointed time, if it's the right one, it will come. Hmm? All right. Okay, so what do you guys want to eat? So here you are, MD. Mm. So why don't you call me and tell me you're going for lunch? I thought you already had your lunch. Mm. Hmm? I'm sorry. Well, okay. I could give you this time you already boy, but don't do it again, okay? Ooh! Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. No, please. Come on, we'll start in anything, you know. Can you call a kid of home or you? We have to walk. Okay, so I do. Are you coming for the staff away day this weekend? I'll go if you go, and we can have some time together. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I've got an event uh, planned with Debbie, so I'm not going. Uh, an event? Yeah. 
But what's more important than work? You can do that event at any other time. <laughs> Beauty. Now, you know I was going to ask you, where, where's your ring? What ring? Your wedding ring. Seriously. What ring? Your, your wedding ring. Andrew, why are you like this? And how, how come you never talk about your husband? Seriously. And uh, how come you never talk about your husband? Because I don't have a husband. Ah, oh, liar. You are lying. You are lying. Andrew, what did I do to you? Tell me, who's this daily guy that keeps sending text messages and pictures of you and I to my wife? Hmm? I don't know what you're talking Who about. Who is it? I don't know what you're talking about. But there is an unserious fellow who relocated to Nigeria and left me here all alone. So if I'm not over the moon about him, then I'm sorry, but just ignore him anyway. No! Look. Beauty, just, just stay away from me, okay? Because I, I, I do not want to get into trouble, you know? And this is getting too much, you know? It's just, you know, just, just stay away, okay? Okay? So what about our kiss? What? You kissed me and I was off guard, okay? It was a mistake. A mistake? So you've been stringing me along all this time? So if you knew you weren't interested, then why have you been stringing me along all this time? And by the way, we kissed each other. Okay, look. I'm sorry, okay? Okay? It's a mistake. Please forgive me, okay? But just, just leave it, okay? Let's change the song. Just going the way I really want. Eh? You know, this while I've been waiting, but help just showed up. <laughs> At least I can get it done now. I can get it done. I've been waiting, waiting. Debbie, waiting. do you know where this help is from? Do you know where the help is from? I don't know, but uh, why does that matter? I mean, what matters is that help is here. I can get it done finally. That's the important thing. I've been waiting Debbie. and waiting. You're falling out of line. You know where to get me if you need me.
This is no fan. Robbie! My own bags everywhere! Success. Yeah. Did you see um, a brown envelope inside the bag? There's a um, bag. A bag brown is brown envelope. Um, no, I, no, plastic no, no, bag. I, I was cleaning around the fridge. There's a lot of rubbish in there. The place looks untidy. So I decided to clean it. And oh my God. All the stuff from rubbish there, and I've just put everything away. So rubbish. Yeah, yeah. Hey, where, where, where? Oh, oh, beam. So Debbie, what, what, what's going on with you? In the last few days you've been running around frantically. What, what, what's happening with you? Are you okay? There's nothing, I'm okay. Look, I've been married to you for God knows how many years. I'll be a fool to buy that lie. Okay? You are not okay. What's going on? So where did you get the money from? Yeah, the money in the brown envelope, where did you get it from? Because the other day you told me that the bank rejected your loan, okay? So where did you get the money from? So it's with you. Mm -hmm. You found the money. Praise God. You found it. <laughs> so where did you get it from? Somebody blessed me with it. Somebody blessed you with 30k in the UK. In the UK. Debbie, where did you get the money from? Okay, let me tell you the truth. Um, I uncovered the fraud at my workplace. And um, someone gave it to me. I don't believe this. Somebody gave you money to keep your mouth shut. Debbie, do you not understand that you are an accomplice to a theft? 30k. Oh my God. You are losing it, Debbie. Oh my God. I can't believe this. You really are losing it. 
Well, what did the Holy Spirit say to you when you were collecting the money? Or, or, or have you been doing this previously? Why can't you even say that? Because I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't know the debit that will, that brings starch money, stolen money into a house. Oh, God. I mean, um, I, I believe God blessed me with the money. I've been praying, I've been fasting, and, and someone brought the money. What, what was I supposed to think? Debbie, so now God uses stolen money to bless his children? Is that what you say? For heaven's sake, think about it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Look. No, that was nothing. That was nothing. But I tell you, that money, that evil money is leaving this house. You will return it back. Do you hear me? No, I'm sorry. What's happening to us? No, I'm sorry. I haven't been innocent in all this. and I haven't been honest in all this, honestly. Oh, God. Andrew, you slept with her. Andrew, you slept with I that girl. I did not sleep with her. But believe me, Debbie, I slept with her in my heart. I was lustful over her. Because you deprived me. But that does not give me the excuse to fall. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm so sorry, Lord. Lord I'm sorry. <laughs> Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, I'm sorry. After so many weeks, I don't understand. Sean, I am so sorry that it's taken me so long to realize my folly. I should never even have nursed the idea of having anything to do with this. It's not for me. It's not fit for me. I don't want it. 
Are you going to report me to management? No, no. But I'm going to do, put my report together. If they find any discrepancy there, that won't be on me. So your report is going to the team leader? Yes. And the rest is up to her. Right. I'd better have a word with her then, hadn't I? forgiveness and I know that it might appear that I strung you along and for that I'm really sorry and I ask for your forgiveness okay but we need to stop this there is nothing between you and I nothing okay nothing, nothing. nothing. okay nothing. and you need to understand that okay so stop this you understand nothing it's over whatever it is it's over I am tired. I am tired. And I want you to leave. I want you to leave. Oh, good Lord. Debbie. Debbie. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I told you what to do. You did? You said to prophesy. Ah, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak to you, driver. Rise now and begin to live in the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon the wind from the north. I call upon the wind. No power can prevail over the power of Jehovah. No power can prevail over the power of the Most High. No power can prevail over the power of Jehovah. There is power, there is power in Jesus' name. No power can prevail over the power. Princess, where are you? Come on, let's go. Wow, look at you. You look so beautiful. Wow. Come on, Come, Debbie. Wow. Wow. Doesn't mommy look so beautiful? Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go now. Oh,
Heavy. Oh, you're awake, honey. <sighs> we just need to keep running. <laughs> just had a dream. What? So what did you see? Oh, God. It's so real. Was this beautiful little girl? Huh? Oh, don't say that. <laughs> no. I mean, uh, you know. 50. Oh God, we are sorry we saying that. There is nothing impossible for God and we pray. We've repented with God and I know that He's going to do it. Okay? I believe God. Whichever way we do it, I believe God. Right. So what's for our difference? Let me go and spray some music. Yeah, no, I'm trying to catch up on some work and that's why I decided to stay a little bit late. Yeah. Uh, your wife's been calling the office continuously. Is she? And she mentioned that she's been calling your phone as well. I'm not sure if you've seen her miss but I'm not sure if you've seen her miss calls. Oh my God. So many calls. Thank, thank you so much, uh, Vivian. Really appreciate that. Thank okay. you.
test results, results show, show that your wife is, is pregnant. pregnant. How can I help you today? My name is Deborah. Deborah, nice to meet you. How, uh, how, how can I help? I'm looking for Pastor James. Pastor James, I am Pastor James. Uh, how may I be of help? This is the uh, man from my dream. Yes, my sister uh, Janet, she attends this church. Oh, Sister Janet? Oh, yes, she does. Wonderful. <laughs> and she told me that you have a very good uh, pregnant women's program. Oh yes, we do. Wonderful program. Wonderful. <laughs> so I want to be pregnant. Oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> you're most welcome. You know, Pastor, I've been I've been waiting on the Lord the past 25 years. Oh, wow. And God has done it. Indeed, He has done it. I can see. Congratulations on that. Thank you. You see, when you trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, He will surely and always direct your path because He is merciful and gracious and He never ever fails. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I am most happy. So congratulations Thank again you, on Pastor. this. I'm Thank so you. happy for you. Uh, uh, you. You know what? Let, let's go over to the office. God works in mysterious ways, even in my dreams. <laughs> Hello? Ah, K. 
Pastor Ken, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're on our way now. Everything is okay. By the grace of God, please pray for us. Yeah, yeah, I'm just taking her to the hospital now. Okay, okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Bye. bye, 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 bye. Yes, I know. I know God is in charge because I've had this revelation so many, many years ago. However, we can't just leave everything to chance so that we don't give the devil a loophole, given the fact of our age. And also, we need to think about our status. So we need to continue to pray. We need to continue to pray because prayer moves mountains. Please pick this one for me, please. Hello? Uncle Andrew? Praise God! Wow! Wow! It's a girl! You send the picture? You send the photos? Yes, yes, yes. Let me back. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, she's so lovely. <laughs> notification bell to get updates when we upload. Thank you so much. We need you. Thank you. I have cried, cried this